if you regularly make websites for your client using uh, Elementor and then it's important for you to know this and when you are making a website like uh, for your client then then usually they provide you with the brand style guide which got, uh, which got the custom like font style font family which font family there will be which color which colors are going to be used etc so uh, so when you're making the website you should make sure like that all of the fonts and colors are consistent so you should uh, set a way you should uh, you should set things up in a way that whenever you are using the font uh, the font by default is going to like inherit the style uh, which is in the brand styling of your client so that's what what i'm going to discuss uh, in this video like when i started out like i've been working with elementor since uh, 2017 and when i was new like i faced this issue quite a lot so let me just show you so when you add a title element over here you see that it's got a default styling it's got a blue color and by default is uh, the font over here is roboto and also for this one it's also got roboto and got a certain kind of color styling and for the button over here you see it's also got a custom styling over here okay okay so you see it's got a custom kind of color and also styling so like uh, whenever your client got a brand styling guide so the best thing is to do is to set up the fonts and colors and the basic elements so that whenever you add any one of the elements in any, any place of the site you like so that that uh, element like the title and the text or the button uh, got a consistent style so whenever you got a uh, added uh, bit of text at a title element uh, you, sh you need to make sure that's got a certain kind of styling okay so that's what i'm going to show you so what i used to do before like i used to add a title element and then go and change every time change this typography where uh, over here and change it to the desired font family so we need to make sure like that by default is set to the desired font family instead of changing it every time so to do that uh, to do that you need to do that by this site settings over here i'm going to show you it in a bit so what i'm going to do right now first so this i'm going to set things up several title elements so let me set this to h1 duplicate set let me set this to h2 duplicate h3 duplicate and let me set this to h4 okay i'll just update this one okay so what i'm going to do now is go to site settings over here okay and then go to typography over here okay so what i'm going to do now suppose let me change this to poppins okay poppins you see that it's already set to poppins you see that this this text does not change if i even set this to another uh, another one see it does not change you see the theme part over here changes but the like the elementor content is not changing so uh, and when also set the change the color it also doesn't change okay you see it doesn't change at all that is because uh, elementor got a certain styling they got a default styling like uh, for example this blue color on the heading and this uh, color on the button and also this color on the text and the font family so you need to deactivate that first you need to disable the default settings like font settings set by elementor the colors and the font styling set by elementor then you can uh, add your desired font styling or colors etc so as you can see that in the top in order to theme style to affect the relevant elementor elements please disable De, uh, default font colors and fonts from the settings space so i am going to click over here and i need to disable the elementor default colors disable default colors and disable default fonts and then save changes okay okay great so what i'm going to do now i'm going to refresh this page and you'll see that 
the body font is going to change this kind of handwriting type and colors change going to blue this one okay okay you see that it changes everywhere so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to the typography and for the body font let me just change this to poppins so what happens over here what happens when you disable the uh, default colors when you dis disable the default colors and default fonts uh, what elementor does is it inherits the theme like the fonts font styling set by your theme the theme you are using okay so it will inherit the font uh, uh, family set by your theme whatever theme you are using if you set any fonts uh, from the customizer of the theme then it's going to this element is going to inherit those styling and also you can uh, add from the site settings you can add custom styling uh, to your fonts so just let me show you uh, for example you see that it's blue over here okay let me just change this to poppins so the body one is the like the base font you see when i change the base font it just changes all over here okay great now you can now you can see that you can whenever you make the changes it will affect i can make this you see the heading h1 is changing and uh, h2 let me just set this to 40 Right? you see it's changing over here and uh, you can also change the button over here button styling button styling background type color okay, I can set this to theme accent okay I can change this to green okay hover hover is blue okay so this is how you can okay okay now what i'm going to i'm going to exit of the site settings so what is the difference over here so what the difference over here is that uh, whenever i added a title element like this by default is going to have this custom styling i have set for the h2 element from the site settings okay if i set this to h1 you see that it will get bigger okay so by default uh, it's going to have those settings the, the font family and the font weight font size etc so you don't need to uh, change this every time you add a title element okay to your like brand styling and whenever you add a button you can it will have the styling which you have set in the site settings so it's easier so it will save you and your client a lot of time and you or your client uh, do not need to change the every time when I uh, change the settings every time they add a new element so uh, I would suggest you to like explore the site settings you see that it's got other global styling options such as images font fields etc so you can check those out but I've shown you the basic ones which is I feel is necessary so I hope this video helped you out and if this if, if this video helped you out then please make sure to uh, like this video and also please subscribe to my channel